I'm going to tie up a, uh, a variation on an old British Columbia pattern from I think from the 40s or 50s uh, it was called whiskey and soda simply because it was black and white um, the white representing the soda I guess and the black the whiskey um, we're going to tie this on a, on a tungsten tube really nice heavy one um, tungsten bottle pardon me okay, and I've already lined it I'm going to go back I'm going to leave the three kind of ripples here bare which is fine because there's a lot of a lot of feathers going on top of this Okay, first thing we're going to do is get a white schloppen feather. Mine has seemed to have disappeared on me. Alright, first thing we're going to do is add a white schloppen feather. And this, this is a really easy uh, pattern to tie. It's almost like with some of the marabou patterns out there where you're just basically winding feathers and then finishing it with a different collar. So white schloppen I'll tie it in by the by the bottom section after I took all the fuzziness out. Okay, we're just gonna wrap forward. And just pulling back as we go forward. Okay, we'll cut the tip off and then as the name implies whiskey and soda it's going to be white black so another slapping feather black this time and we're going to wrap that for it so you can see you can see the similarities between this and you know when you know one of Jack Cook's marabou patterns where the slop is just going to kind of marry together a little bit and show the two colors contrasting okay. and not to be repetitive but we're gonna go one more one more white schloppen again tie it in without the fuzzy bottom bits Okay, now this is where we change it up a little bit. Um, you never want to want to pretend that you invented any pattern. Uh, things go in circles always. Um, this is a great pattern from from a long ago that we just put our spin on. Uh, definitely not okay, better. Uh, this is where we change it up a little bit from the from you know the original black and white version and and all flies of course patterns you know the newer version or the your your spin on it doesn't mean the original is better or worse uh, usually means it's worse I found in my case but um, we like to add a longer hackle to this uh, just that kind of goes over the black and white we're gonna go with our regular black heron okay, we're gonna tie it in tip first and we'll put one on if sometimes one's not enough we'll put another one on we just want to get that long flowing hackle way back beyond the tube or the back of the tube okay, and I can tell right now even without sweeping it back I'm not going to have enough so I'm going to put another black heron in black heron feather again by the tip You know, the heron's kind of crazy to work with. It looks like a big, bad hairdo until you pull things back and, and really sharpen it up. Okay, so I've got this big mess in front. I'm going to carefully just sweep it back. Really carefully, because I still have my needle in that I didn't break the point off of. Okay, and you can see now when you add that heron, and I'll just put a white background here, you can see the, the heron just gives it a little more, a little more kind of bugginess to the back. Okay. 
All right now, you know, sometimes I'll put a I'll put a collar of guinea on there too, a spot of guinea. I think I will today too. My head's getting a little crowded, but just a couple of turns of of natural guinea fowl. A spotted uh, black and white goes perfect, of course, with this fly. And I'm not using a huge one, small guinea fowl fowl feather, tied in by the tip. Again, just pulling everything and sweeping it back. Okay, and and you know that's. That's more or less it, you know. It, when it was when it was born, I guess in the 50s or 40s, I'm not quite sure when. I, it was mean meant to be, a, you know, a two-color fly, and then a very simple tie as well, and it still is. So I'll just whip finish this. Might want to throw on jungle cock. Um, I'm not going to on this one, because this one's going straight to the river, and uh, I think the black and white is just enough there. Just glue up the head here. Okay, pull it off. You can see it's got a nice, nice silhouette to it. Okay, and it's, uh, you know, it almost looks like the back end of an intruder, to be honest. Um, but it catches fish, it works, and it has worked for a very long time. It's just our spin on it. That's the whiskey and soda.